John Boat Rescue. He's out there. Row, row, row in your boat. Once the ho ho hoes are over, what do you do with the hoe? You throw it in the water. That's what you do. Word on them streets is that if you throw your Christmas tree in your pond, it makes for some fantastic habitat for little bait fish. So uh, this is my Christmas tree. Jason, don't walk into the water. Brought a lot of joy <laughs> to uh, Ashley and myself, and we're gonna throw it in the pond. We're gonna weight it down with a cinder block, take it out on this rickety old John boat that I had to row over here with a shovel make some habitat for some fish. We'll have a good spot to fish off of later on in the year. Let's do it. Doing a little recycling here. Repurposing. Brake rotor, Christmas tree. Should anchor it down just fine. And up through the bolt holes in the rotor. And tie the wire off to the branches. We stripped our Romex wire. We got three strands out of it, uh, two feet long or so here. We got our brake rotor here off of my Super Duty. Should be heavy enough that if we lower this thing straight down into the water, this maybe gets stuck down into the muck and it sort of anchors that tree to the bottom and it sort of stands up vertically and gives it a lot of vertical space for those bait fish to swim up here and live. We've been fishing this spot here for, I don't know, a few years now. And we see lots of brim, lots of crappie. They're all swimming up this way. And we've never caught a bass right here. So we're thinking we're gonna sink our Christmas tree right out here. Oh, frick. Woo. Woo, god dang. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> the paddle, just the way the pioneers used to navigate the waters. I'm gonna put this in the boat. That way I'm not stranded out there. Armed with this trusty paddle. He set sail. <laughs> well, you're welcome. That butt shot free. What are you giggling about? His pizza box or something? He's in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give us a push. Oh god. <laughs> well, we didn't sink. <laughs> Might want to turn around. Like stand up. I'm not standing up. <laughs> We're just lowering it straight in, gently. We don't know how deep this water is right here. So we'll lower it straight in. And hopefully it'll just sit on the bottom. Right. Well, there you go. It was a eight foot Christmas tree, eight foot depth, right there. Let's stick it out of the water just a little bit so when we fish it off of it, we know exactly where it is and we can you know, try to avoid getting our, our line snagged up. So that's a successful launch of a Christmas tree into the pond. Nobody fell in. <laughs> okay, back to shore. We got it, just barely poking out of the surface of the water. We know exactly where it is. We'll know forever. But we're gonna be anchoring off of this tree right here, pointing straight out to right over there. I don't know if you can see it with the camera. Right over there is where we're gonna try to, you know, provide a little bit of habitat for these bait fish because we've seen a lot of brim and a lot of crappie swimming along this bank right here, but we've never really caught that many bass off of this bank. If we can put a little bait fish habitat right there, maybe it'll draw some bass onto this bank. We've actually done our two good deeds for the day. Number one, uh, we planted that Christmas tree into the pond, gonna provide a nice little nursery for some bait fish. Number two, we rescued a John boat. The John boat that you saw us take out there was way back over there. They had lost it, floated away off into the wild blue yonder, and we went out there and got it and brought it back. <laughs>